My name is Kevin, and I am on a mission. My mission is to seek the traces of those who were here before us. And with time, effort, and persistence, those traces can still be found just beneath the surface. And every piece tells its own story. This is Woodland Detecting. Good morning, folks, and welcome to Woodland Detecting. Fall is finally here. You could begin to see the leaves start to take color, and you could begin to feel the bite in the air. Over the past few weeks, we've been getting out, doing some metal detecting, hitting some incredible spots, and pulling some amazing pieces from old home sites that once existed. So sit back, grab some popcorn, enjoy. Let's get out there and see what we can find. We're out here doing some exploring, walking around. We're about to metal detect, but he, then we just saw the train track, so we decided to walk up. Yeah, we have the spot right across the, the uh, right across the road that we looked at. Uh, Look what he just found. Yeah, absolutely amazing find walking up and down the train track. Yeah, I got one just like this too. Absolutely crazy. So can you see it? Look at that old glass, hand blown marble. Yeah, it's awesome. How amazing is that? Yeah, right man. next to all these railroad spikes too. Yeah, tons and tons of railroad spikes. We're gonna do a little bit of walking up and down these railroad tracks, see if we could possibly find anything here on the surface. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. So, I don't know if you can see the hole back here. Uh, I think it's right there. Uh, I dug a weedy and I was like, dang it, any other year it would have been silver. I walked another five, six, seven feet uh, and let me turn around and show you what I got. Not even about two inches, and we have a beautiful silver. Look at that, guys. Oh, look at that absolutely gorgeous beauty right there. Standing Liberty, baby. Not even 15 foot from where we just pulled the Standing Liberty, uh, I got another silver in the hole. About the same depth as the Standing Liberty was, and out pops an absolutely gorgeous barber dime here, 1911. But I gotta admit that I did not expect these to come off of this trail. What you got, Tim? Awesome, I found this coin. It looks like it got shot by a musket ball or something, Dan said. That's definitely a copper. It's, it's, it's definitely a coin. I think large silver. As you could. You can see it right there. You can see the rim around the edge. And man, the, man, the story the that could go along with that. The impression that left somebody that. had set that up for target practice. And uh, you could tell they were a good shot. They made some good you know? contact. Where'd you find that? Right on right the edge here. of the... Not even deep in the ground. Okay. Here it's deep, but you know, right there, underneath there. Giving a good 83 on my uh, manticore. That's awesome. Man, if that could tell a story, you know? Yep. Awesome, brother. Yeah. Hey, good job. Okay, Kevin Sears standing with me. I just called him over. He was literally just hunting right there. And uh, I was getting like a 25, 30 signal. Got myself a button. Ooh. I think it might I might be a military button. I do see something. Right there's right. the eagle. Yep, I can see it. You can see, it looks like a World War One button. Oh, wow. You can see the shield right there. Oh, yeah, that looks like a beautiful button, too. That's an oldie because of the neck. Yeah, the, it might even be older than World War One. That's awesome, bro. Thanks, man. Yeah, awesome dig, man. Thanks. I got silver. It's pretty deep down here, about six inches. It was coming up like a wheat scent, though. Maybe a little bit. There it is. 
There we go, that's a Merc. Scratch it looks like maybe. 1917. This is well worn, wow. Been in circulation for quite some time. Look at that. Beautiful. Mercury dime. Man, the things we go through to save history. What you got, Tim? I found a really nice flat button here. That used to be gold gilded. That's awesome, brother. Well, yeah. that means there's something in here. I mean, along the edge here. Just wade through the grass. You'll be all right. About two and a half inches down. Now it pops. An old part to a clock. You can see the gears right there. This would have been a bracket that would have went inside of the clock or on the back side of the clock. Pretty cool piece of history. Great piece to uh, put in the collection and, uh, you know, see if we can find more of it. I thought it was a coin at first, but it's actually a button. And look at this button, guys. It does not have a shank. Put it in the sun. Come on, where's the sun? There we go. See, it does not have the shank. But that is an old beauty. And I love these buttons. Came across this tag. It says E. Phillips, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It has a couple of little stars on it. Not exactly sure what this tag would have come off of. But uh, if any of you guys know what this might have came off of, please let me know. Drop it in the comments. All right, guys. It's getting a 60. I had a hard time finding it, but look at that. Looks like a bow tie. Bow tie pin. That is beautiful. The back of it, yep, yeah, it's a pin. Awesome. dug a hole here this one is actually about six inches down and out popped a beautiful baltimore badge it says badge number seven baltimore bpo uh and it is in the circular of a clock uh, but i will go home and do some research and see if i can find out any more about it awesome awesome find Right, so Kevin's already over there and I just got off the phone with him and he was telling me he got some kind of a police badge, which is really awesome. Um, I got a button, I got two D buckles, a weedy, and besides the other things that I already got today, and now I got this. <laughs> There's another silver end piece. Oh, that is beautiful. It's got initials. I wonder if I could trace that M A H. Oh, that's gorgeous. I wish it was complete. And I can't complain. I find a lot in their stir, <laughs> sterling. That is awesome. It is beautiful. You know, a lot of times when we come out and detect old fields like this, more often than not, we come across old jewelry. And this time is no different. Unfortunately, it's not real. It is what looks to be gold plated at one time, but, uh, absolutely gorgeous it's amazing that it survived all this time without getting bent up but absolutely great piece of history solid 45 on the on the legend right here uh about four and a half five inches down and out pops a beautiful merc it is a 1916 but unfortunately it does not have a d 1916 d mercury dime that's the ones you want to be out on the lookout for uh, because of such of a rare minage uh, but unfortunately this one does not have a D but it's a piece of history nonetheless it's getting a deep a deep 80 81 and it, I did, couldn't even find it I didn't know where it was but look at that right there that silver rim oh yeah got a silver coin uh, I don't know what it's going to be got some water here oh man it says one dime. Okay, so this is going to be either Barber or Seated. 
I'm going to get some water on it and we'll find out together because I don't want to mess that up unless you could see really well there. I can't. So it's going to be a barber seated. We'll, I'll find out. So I got it cleaned up and it's a barber dime. I wish it was a seated, but hey, I cannot complain. I am happy about it. Not the best condition, but awesome. I found a little bit of an open area out here. There was an old home site closer to the road, but pretty deep back here in the woods. Usually we pull, uh, you know, flat buttons, maybe a button with a little bit of design. Uh, but here we have a great little find. What pops out looks to be an absolutely gorgeous flower design button. Shank is still intact. Uh, not exactly familiar. I don't know too much about this button. I'm not familiar with this button at all. <laughs> if any of you savvy people in here know uh, what design this is, possibly what year this uh, would come from, that would be absolutely amazing. Drop it in the comments. Let me know. I'd absolutely love to know. If I had to take a guess, I'd say early to mid 1800s. But uh, let's see what you guys think. Okay, right now, uh, not very far away from where we just dug the old flower button. Uh, I have something here that was a great, great signal. Not even that far down, maybe two inches. Uh, I popped out something what I believe to be a very old silver. Um, but it's very, very worn. It's very worn, and um, I, I really don't know exactly what this is. So once again, I might need you guys' help. That sure does look like silver to me. It's very, very thin. It's even thinner than a button. But there is no shank. It does have a little bit of weight to it. Uh, you know, for it to be so thin. But I don't know if I can get a close-up on you guys. But it is very well worn i can see on the outside what appears to be some sort of a lettering but i don't know guys once again i'm gonna need you guys' help all right folks i think we're just finishing up our day here uh we're walking back getting ready to go back to the truck um and came across a great great signal here uh, we're running out of daylight real quick, so we got to hurry up and get out of here. All right, four and a half inches down, out pops a beautiful barber. I'm trying not to rub it too much, but I'm trying to get a date on it. Looks like 1905. And it's no barber, but I just got a button, flat button. Oh, nice. <laughs> Now, I think that's the second flat button that's come out of here today. So yeah, I have three because I got I got I got this is my second one. Uh, okay, so got yeah, Tim's too. got one. And so we're out here and we're night hunting, and I got myself an Indian head. That is definitely it is it is uh, a little eat, but you can definitely see yeah. the reef right there and one cent. Yes, sir. You flip it oh, over, and you can head. definitely see the head right there. Awesome. You can see the date trying to come through, but yep. if you do a little bit of cleaning on it, you can definitely get. Oh, something I'm gonna try. It. I'm definitely gonna try. You can see, you can actually see a little bit of the headdress coming through right here. A little bit. Yep, I see it. So awesome. Awesome, man. Yep. See, look, look, look. I it got it's dark. <laughs> out and, here uh, in the this is. Uh, you might want to let them know that this is the same road that uh, you got the Stand in Liberty I and the, the barber. I pulled the Stand in Liberty and the barber. Yep. A little so bit further back. So and we pulled some good pieces. We today, did. So. We and, did. Uh, it started out slow. We didn't find anything at the first spot, but then went to a few others and found some stuff. He's gonna, he's gonna go do some gambling. I personally Had don't gamble. So if you guys enjoy what you saw here today, please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting to support the channel. And as always, we love each and every one of you. God bless you all. We hope you have an absolutely amazing day. And just remember that you won't find what you don't look for.